Hi! In this tutorial section, Tutorial 5, Section 1, we will be creating a program with multiple buttons and label controls. We will then manipulate some of the properties of the program elements both during design time and at run time. Basically, in this Section 5 tutorial, we will be creating the skeleton of a program for experimentation that will allow expanding upon the principles in the Hello World button program by adding more buttons and a few labels. In the coming tutorial, Tutorial 5, Section 2, I will cover some of the principles of Gambas Program Object Properties. And in the next part of the tutorial, Tutorial 5, Section 3, I will be adding new code and setting some of the properties of the various program elements in the Button and Object Experiment program. Again, this program doesn't actually do anything complicated, but it demonstrates a lot of Gambas program principles and elements. One thing I would like to stress at the start is the idea of experimentation and creating a lot of small projects while you are learning. I feel this is the easiest and most advantageous way to learn technical endeavors. It prevents a person from feeling overwhelmed and allows a concept to be better understood without the frustrations associated with a relatively minor issue becoming a major sticking point when something doesn't work as expected. This can cause serious roadblocks to moving forward. So if something works and you want to try something else or add something new, save your current project and create a new project using Save Project As and giving the next experiment a new project name. Then move forward. This allows you to jump back and start fresh without losing your earlier work if something new just doesn't work the way it should or the way you expected. In my personal experience, the greatest problem in learning a new computer concept is getting bogged down due to fixation on an issue within a specific piece of code or the project that you're working on. This can cause you to keep missing what are often relatively simple solutions or answers. I would also say that frustration can be a big hindrance to finding solutions or learning new concepts. So as I cover using specific elements of the Gambas language and demonstrate creating programs, I intend to also cover some fundamental programming tips and experiences to make the learning as easy and interesting as possible. Now to create the base program project that we will be working on in these next tutorials, start Gambas. Create a new Gambas project. Select Graphical Application and the Next button. Choose your programs directory. If you have been following these tutorials, in Tutorial 2 we created a My Programs directory. However, you can create or choose any location as the base directory for your projects. Next, under Project Name and Project Title, enter Button Experiment 1. and select the OK button. This will create your new project in the IDE. Double click the F main element in the left hand project elements pane and click on the form to select it. Click and hold the central pick box on the bottom of the form and drag the bottom of the form all the way down to the bottom of the work area. This will give us room to place our buttons and labels on the form. Set F main's resizable property to false. This will prevent the program's user from changing the size of the program form while the program is running. This is usually done when elements of the program require a precise, unchanging dimension for some of the program's elements to be accessed or function correctly. Double click on the form and within the code window under public sub form open add the code me.center to place the program in the middle of the screen when it launches.
Now I am going to add four buttons to the form. Double click on the F main element in the project window. Select the button control in the toolbox in the lower right of the IDE and click and drag to draw a button near the top of the form. At this point you could simply repeat this action to create three more buttons. However, it is easier to just select and copy the button using Control C and then using Control V to paste three more buttons on the form. Note that each button control will have its own unique numerically based identity or name. That is because within a Gambas program each control element within any container must have a unique name and Gambas automatically increments the controls numerical identity each time an identical control is added by the programmer. Next drag the buttons into a vertical stack of more or less evenly vertically spaced buttons. Next, center each control horizontally. Do this by clicking on each control so that it is selected, then click the Center Horizontally Quick button on the editing toolbar. Now add three labels to the form. Here we will create the three labels on the form the same way we created the buttons. Select the label control in the toolbox in the lower right of the IDE and click and drag to draw a label under the top button on the form. Again, you can create additional labels individually or by copying and pasting additional labels. Move a label under each button. Again notice that each label control automatically has a numerically based identity which increments as each control is created. These names can be changed by the programmer and then accessed via their new names. But for now I am going to keep the default names and place the labels under the buttons by corresponding reference number to keep things simple. So button 1 has label 1 under it, and do the same with button 2 and 3, so the first three buttons from top down each have a label under them. Again, center each label control by selecting it and clicking the Center Horizontally Quick button on the editing toolbar. Set the Label 1's text property to Button 1. Set the Label 2's text property to Button 2. Set the Label 3's text property to Make Quit Button Visible. Go ahead and save the project. Now select button 3. Change the button's text property to the text Exit button. Now double click on button 3 and within the code window under button 3 click add the code Button 4.visible equals true. This will make Button 4 visible 
while the program is running. Again, save the project. And finally, button 4. Click on button 4 to select it and change the button's text property to the word quit. Change the button's visible property to false. This will make button 4 invisible until the property is set to true. Now double click on button 4 and within the code window under button 4 click add the code quit. and save the project one last time and run it to test it. Remember, there are multiple ways to exit the program while it is running in the IDE. For example, press the button labeled Exit button and then press the button labeled Quit once it appears. You can also click the X in the upper right hand corner like in all GUI programs. And also, while a project is being run in the Gambas IDE, you can also click the IDE's Stop Quick button on the editing toolbar. When a program works as expected, go ahead and click the Make Executable Quick button on the editing toolbar and specify where you would like to place the program. And again, remember that the best way to experiment is often to start with a working program, create a new copy using the Save Project As option to create a copy of the original project with a new project name. And then change, modify, and add to the new version. This allows you to preserve and go back to the original working version if things don't work as expected or if you change your mind about something. This is what we will do in the third part of the Tutorial 5 series, Tutorial 5, Section 3, when we add more code to the program and begin manipulating the properties that are attached to the various program elements. In the next part of the tutorial, Tutorial 5.2, I will be describing object properties and the dot operator in greater detail. Then, in Tutorial 5.3, I will be setting object properties within the existing button experiment program, both at runtime through program code and at design time within the IDE. Again, Thanks for taking a look at these videos and joining me as I explore the Gambas language and making these videos. I hope you find them useful.